So another world premiere here at the uh, DMG Mori Fronton Open House. Uh, Cornelius, talk to us about the PH cell. So the PH cell is a brand new automation solutions we show here first time at the open house. And uh, the special thing is that it's a standard product, but it's very modular and flexible. So we can use it in the future for up to 18 different DMG Mori machines. We can uh, configure it flexible from nine pellets up to 40 pellets and you can retrofit the system to more pellet places also as well as to retrofit it to an entire machine when it's prepared with automation interface. Okay, it's been very big and luckily a few people have moved away now. We want to get, get up close and personal with this really. One of the big things for DMG Mori here Cornelius is the ergonomics of it isn't it? The fact that you've laid this out so it's easy for the operator. Yeah of course, so one of our big uh, development targets is always to make life easy for the operator and here you can see for example the ergonomics is really perfect because here you have the setup station and and right next to the setup station of the automation solution, you have the working area for the customer. So okay, it's we'll come back to the working area shortly. What I also want to find out really is how many pallets that you've actually got in here and, and what the capabilities are. So uh, there are three different pallet sizes available, starting with 320 millimeters square and then uh, 400 and 500. And in this system, we have now 28 pallets uh, included. Okay, can you go beyond 28 pallets or is that the standard? No, so we start with nine pellets as standard solution and we can increase it up to 40 pellets. Right, okay. So we've seen the ergonomics here of, of loading of the, of, the, of the pallet station. Then, you, like you say here, the machine is right next to you, so you can then come in here and do any tasks you need to in the machine. Yes, so that is the, the big benefit that the operator is really close to all things he uh, needs to be. So to the working area when he has to do some measurement for example or is uh, set up, uh, setting up an, a new part and when you, he's working here on the setup station of the automation the setup station is separated from the automation system so the machine and the automation can work while he is uh, preparing the next job and the next parts. Now there's another part to this as well um, of course the control here is on a pendant which can move uh, from um, near the obviously the, the pallet station and the machine. But the other aspect I wanted to touch on here is the tooling side, because of course you need to change and set tools. And that's all been in, 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 you know, uh, involved in the ergonomics as well, isn't it? How well you've laid this out. Yes, of course, the tool loading is also right next to the working area from the front side of the machine. So the operator has in a distance of less than two meters, all things he needs to operate during uh, working with the machine. Yeah. Okay, now we're just gonna step in front of the machine for a final shot here. So you can kind of see really the overall size, because I think for me, Cornelius, uh, wherever you are in the world, the, the footprint of a machine and a solution is very, very important. You've done quite well to keep it contained and compact with all those pallets. Yes, of course. So that is the, also the target to have it uh, as a compact solution. And as you see here, the size, it's with 28 pellets. But even when we put 40 pellets into the system, it will not grow in space. So that is the same. And uh, another point is that we do not have a separate cell controller. We control the system and the pellet management through our CELOS uh, control. There we have an app for the pellet management. And so the HMI for the operator is for the machine and programming of the machine, the same as using the automation system. That's very important. And I just want to finish now, Cornelius. Can't resist having a look in here with the door open. Um, this is, of course, going to attract a lot of attention with the door open here. But it's extremely uh, well built and well laid out and well put together. You can intervene in here then if you need be, can you? Can you go in here for maintenance reasons? Yes, of course. So you can go into for maintenance reason, reasons, but also if you need to clean the, the system or something like uh, that. So maintenance and repair work is a very big point so that you have good access to the system and to all relevant uh, components then. Great stuff. World premiere. Uh, you probably saw it first here on MTD Global. Thank you very much, Cornelius. Thank you.